Chinese dramas lovers. This video is gonna shows the top 08 Chinese dramas in April. I think it will be good news for all of you. Then, let's go to the video without further. So welcome to my channel, this is Tishy Creation. Miss Cupid in Love. As a 10,000 year old immortal, Bo Yan should have had plenty of experience keeping the affairs of the mortals under his care in check. But when the ancient immortal accidentally mess up a number of marriages within the mortal world, he has no choice but to accept the consequences of his actions. Demoted from his post in the heavens, Bo Yan is sent to the mortal realm to experience the trials faced by the humans he spent so many years watching over. Sharing a desire to save the world's marriages from chaos, Chu Ye and Xiao Ya embark on a journey to do just that. Working together towards a common goal, the two begin to realize their feelings for each other have changed dramatically since their first encounter. But can a human and an immortal really be each other's destiny? Royal Feast Set during the Ming Dynasty during the rule of the Yongle Emperor, it tells the story of a young girl named Yao Zijin, who entered the palace to become a maid of the Food Bureau. In the Deep Palace, she remains determined and slowly works her way up while perfecting her craft, making friends, and encountering an unexpected romance at the same time. Through her romantic entanglement with Zhu Zanji, the drama also showcases the historical achievements and family life of three outstanding emperors of the Ming Dynasty. Portraying a gourmet forbidden city full of rich family affection, friendship, love, and humanity. Dine with Love The series tells the story of Yu Hao, who doesn't know how to cook and even doesn't have a kitchen. For the food platform he created, he sponsored a food reality show and appeared on his own. But efficiency is the priority, he doesn't want to waste time learning to cook for this, so he offends the show crew by shooting with a stand-in. So Kei Lan was appointed to become the director of public relations when he was in danger, took over the work of public relations to deal with the crisis, and became Yu Hao's culinary teacher. She took him into the kitchen and slowly began to enter his heart. About his love. A love story between the president of a company who develops a severe case of OCD that prohibits him from interacting with women and the one person that he is immune to. An incident from when he was 18 years old gravely affects the life of Wei Ching. Even though he has become a high-ranking corporate executive, he is unable to interact with the opposite sex, which is why he has been searching for a princess that can save him for years. Ten years later, because of a drunken encounter with an 18-year-old arts student named Joshi, Wei Ching discovers that he feels completely fine after meeting her. An agreement is formed between the two and a romance ensues. Be My Princess Ming Wei is a part-time translator who loves acting. She was unexpectedly selected to be the female lead of award-winning actor Miu Ting Zhou's upcoming drama. There she enacts the love story between a princess and a master in Ming Dynasty with Miu Ting Zhou. After an accident which caused Miu Ting Zhou to lose his memories, he only remembers Ming Wei who he protected dearly as the princess in the drama. In order to help Miu Ting Zhou recover his memories, Ming Wei starts taking care of his life. Legally Romance At 28 years old, Qian Wei should have been well on her way to establishing herself in her career. However, working as a paralegal for Lu Sun has so far proven to be anything but awesome. Harboring a grudge that dates back to their days as students, Lu Sun has made sure Qian Wei's life is nothing short of a living hell. But when Qian Wei becomes the victim of a tragic accident, everything changes. In the space between dreams and reality, Qian Wei and Lu Sun begin to realize their feelings for each other have taken a drastic turn. Struggling to make sense of these newfound feelings, can Qian Wei and Lu Sun find a way to accept what has grown between them without sacrificing their professional aspirations? The Blue Whisper, Part 1 Ji Yun He is a powerful and talented demon master living in Demon Valley. She loathes the deep dark secret that restricts her from exploring the world at her leisure. 
Chang Ji is a mare man who appears in the valley, courtesy of the cruel Princess Shunda. Her Royal Highness commands Yun He to make the mare man speak human words, grow human legs, and be loyal. But there is a catch. Yun He must enlist the aid of Lin Hao Ching, her adopted brother and sworn enemy. Keeping company with the mare man has Yun He becoming closer to him. In time, she will have to make the fateful choice between the demon's freedom and her very own. The Oath of Love Lin Ji Xiang, who is a budding cellist and a junior in the music department at her university is determined to achieve her dreams. Her world comes to a grinding halt when her father is hospitalized and diagnosed with cancer, she and her mother must face many uncertainties. Gu Wei, the doctor in charge of her father's treatment who has been going through a rough time of his own, enters her life firstly in a most awkward and unexpected way. However, as they get to know each other, they begin to form an understanding. As time progresses, they start growing closer. But will love follow and will they be able to finally find the happiness that they both need so much? That was Top 8 Chinese Dramas on April. Thank you for joined with my channel. See you in the next one.